It's been a long time, huh? It's me. Hello. I gotta take a little coffee break. Yep. I'm all by myself, not even with the dog. Thought I'd give you a little bit of update what's been going on, which I put a bunch of pictures together at the end of this so you can see what I've been doing here and there and at home and just staying busy. First of all, I hope everyone is faring well and doing very well and blessed and with lots and lots of peace. Glenn's home, he's not feeling too good. No, it's not the virus. It's just, you know, oh, anxious to get out there and go to work. And as you know, the trucking industry, since of the oil, all of, you know, the prices have went down for paychecks. So there is a lot of truckers just sitting at home waiting until, you know, they can get going on different things. So I think what I'm going to do today is make some soap. As you can see, it's getting near um, the Memorial Weekend, which is in a few weeks. Hopefully that will be the day that we open up, if it be the Lord's will. The creek, creek don't rise, but we will see um, if it doesn't. And there's a lot of small businesses just shutting the doors. They just can't make it. I have been blessed with Scott, the owner of this building, um, you know, working with us and whatnot. If the doors open, they open. If they don't, it's okay too, you know. Um, biggest thing is, is that we're all in this together. And to stay safe, uh, it's a little bit worse than the flu. Yes, but for healthy people, you will get through it and you'll get over it. The biggest thing is, is you know, being so fearful of, you know, the unknown. Uh, ones that are older and very, very young and have, you know, been sickly or fighting, you know, a chronic disease or whatever. Um, just like in the flu season, you know to stay away from everyone and you know to take care of yourself. So, anyways, um, those are you know, the greatest risk, and I hope that you are all taking care of yourself if you're in that risk, and, you know, like I said, the biggest thing is fear, and just, you know, being so worried, that will bring your immune system way down, so let's stop doing that. Um, I'm making a lot of things, red, white, and blue, of course, and get ready to make the Patriot uh, soap that I make, and... Oh, let's see. Um, just to support all of our patriots out there. You know, it was <laughs> um, during, you know, the revolution, there was only 3%. And people don't understand that. That, you know, through the Lord's blessing, our God, that we, you know, served under as a country no longer doing that we're all going and doing our own ways and you know following different countries or whatnot but not going to get on that but i just wanted you to remember is only three percent and yes three percenters are still alive and out there and growing strong not what you think is a bunch of renegades but you know um we're out there so why not me Patriot, red, white, and blue for our beautiful country, and um, all those that have served and protected us, and those that are and gonna, yep, it's dedicated to you guys, not being shut in or whatever, but just to say thank you, and all that are out there that are supporting and taking care of, you know, um, the ones that do get really, really ill and sick. You guys are heroes, and you know that. We've got lots and lots of heroes, so let's just concentrate on that. Let's concentrate on being optimistic and doing what we can do and praying for those that, um, you know, are unfortunate with health and whatnot to pray and 
that they will recover and get well and all of us out there just helping one another in this together yes let's you know put all of our stuff away put the guns on the porch and leave them in you know out there while you get together and I mean within the heart and mind thinking um, if you see a need do it even if it's six feet away so I will quit my yakking nice little coffee break Um, Danny's with his daddy for a couple of days. Yay! It was hard for him to get even a load, or I shouldn't say a load, but a job up here because he flies all over. And yes, it's affected everyone. But he worked and worked on trying to get, you know, a job up this way. I think it's in Minnesota. So he came to pick up the boy and take him on an adventure. You know, just getting away together. So, um... Enjoyed talking to my sissy this morning um, up in northern Michigan. Uh, it's been a long, long time, but you know our hearts are always together. And I love you, Sandy. Thank you. Thank you for watching and supporting me always. And I will quit my yak and get this video up. But the next video will be dedicated, you know, to our patriots um, and our heroes out there. And I will be making their red, white, and blue. So, anyways, stay out of trouble. I will try my best to. And I miss you all. And I wish I wasn't always MIA, but you know how it is. Always busy. But quit worrying. All right. Love you guys. Bye-bye.